<clears throat> All right, what's up, everybody? Grim Green, you know, back here today. I guess we're back on YouTube. Here's the thing. I've been gone from YouTube for two months now. Have had nothing on YouTube for two months now. I was dealt a third strike. I just wanted to get us all on the same page because I've explained this in like so many different places and I've been streaming on Twitch like in the meantime, if you want to catch me on live, I have been on and will continue to be on for the foreseeable future streaming on Twitch. It's just been a lot of fun. All of those streams should, fingers crossed, this all relies on me maintaining this channel, but it looks like I have this channel right now. All of those live streams will absolutely, of course, they'll end up here on YouTube. There's a bunch that are just gonna be missing. This is just gonna be the weird, like nebulous void time for Grim Green because there's some vlogs that are just gonna be on grimgreen.com. They may never make it to YouTube because I've honestly done a bunch of vlogs. Let's see, that's four vlogs that have not been on YouTube. That's Look, that's monumental. The vlog started on YouTube, and now, because of how uh, openly hostile YouTube has been to me, to Grim Green, to this channel, to vaping, to tobacco harm reduction in general, now four of those vlogs aren't on YouTube, and that's I, it, it made me so upset that I bumped my camera here. Good Lord. So we're here. I guess we're back. It should be business as usual. I should have regular videos, regular content. You might have seen something yesterday that was uh, the Lux QS, how I review pods featuring the Lux QS. I think that went up yesterday. Um, today should be an ether replay of the build stream. If the planning in my head is correct, today should be that, and today should also be this video. So I got a strike in August, and nestled under that one strike was about... 14 to 15, I don't remember exactly off the top of my head, but it was about 14 to 15 other videos that all got removed for basically the same reason. And that same reason has been the regulated goods rule. It's the rule that all vape YouTubers have been trying to abide by since, when was the first round? 2019, I wanna say it was late, late 2019. It was right around Ivali. It seemed like really bad timing. That's when a bunch of people, including myself, got warnings about this regulated goods policy. So mass editing's happened, uh, descriptions editing happened, and it was for having links in your description. So that that's the rule. It's the regulated goods rule. So I got hit in August on a really old video, on an eight plus year old video for breaking this rule. And nestled under this strike was like 15, 14 other videos that got removed. I might be exaggerating, it might only be like 13 videos, but a bunch of videos got removed and were nestled under this one strike. And then I came back for literally two days, got another strike in September, was MIA for two more weeks, got a strike in October, in the middle of October as well, and immediately I panicked because the third strike means that your channel may be terminated or has the isn't guaranteed to be terminated, but has the possibility to be terminated. So I immediately reached out to YouTube. You know, I'm trying to stay calm. I immediately reach out to YouTube. They get me someone to email me back and forth almost right away. I have to say, I did make a big thread on Twitter about this, and I think that may have helped me out because I reached out to them almost as they were reaching out to me. And so I went back and forth with this person at YouTube regarding my channel, these strikes, these rules, what rules I broke. Maybe they need to be more specific about what rules exactly I broke because it turns out that after all this, now YouTube is going after any spoken dot coms in any vape videos anywhere that can trigger a strike. So what my patrons and I, a small handful of my patrons and I have been doing is going back and watching literally all of my videos. And we were looking for anything that could cause a strike. 
a QR code on the screen, a web address on the screen, a spoken.com, anything in the description, literally anything. We've been spending this last two months that I've been off YouTube getting my entire back catalog, hopefully 100% compliant with YouTube's new rules. And now moving forward, I can follow YouTube's new rules and I won't have to hopefully, <sighs> hopefully won't have to retroactively edit or delete videos. There was, unfortunately, in addition to editing, which the YouTube editor is terrible, by the way, but in addition to editing, there was mass deletions of videos. Um, I think Bogan got wind of news of all of this, Spoken.com's being singled out, and he went through, I saw on Instagram, and I felt so bad for the guy, but he's deleting hundreds of videos in mass, just deleting them, losing all of those videos, losing all of his history, losing all of those views. Honestly, you lose those views. If you delete a video that has 10,000 views, 100,000 views, that, whoops, bye, that's detracted from your YouTube. That hurts your overall SEO score. That hurts your rankings on YouTube. That's a, it's like a last resort, hard, hard thing to do. And I had to do a bunch of it today. A bunch of it was from 2010. A bunch of it was from 2014. A bunch of it was honestly longer format videos like vlogs and the such as where I may have shown a QR code here and then set a thing here and then shown another QR code here and then set another thing here. And it's like, I just have to delete this video. I just have to. It's not worth leaving this butchered piece of video up on the internet. I might as well just delete it. So man, many things have been deleted, but I believe that we're almost there. And I believe I have control of my YouTube again and this is where we're at. I think I have control of my YouTube again. I have loads of content ready to go. Loads of it, lots of it, and I'm cranking it out like normal. I've been trying to keep up on my videos as if I was going to get my YouTube back. I didn't want to like slough things off or push things to the side and go, eh, you know, I don't even have a YouTube. I kind of kept still doing reviews and still doing videos. So I have a bunch of stuff ready to go. I've got some stream replays ready to go. A YouTube, if I can remain control of it, will still be my home for all things. All reviews and everything will be here on YouTube. The live streaming is happening right now on Twitch. I'll have a link in the description. And the point that I really want to drive home with this video is that no matter what happens, everything will always be on grimgreen.com. I've been saying grimgreen.com since 2010. It's my home for literally everything. All my reviews, live streams, podcasts, everything, everything will be there. For updates and stuff, you could follow me on Twitter if you want to. I always take to Twitter when there's news about myself or YouTube or vaping or whatever. I always take to Twitter and I tweet, you know, way too much a trillion times a day, but that's it. That's where we're at. I spent too much, two months basically going back and forth with YouTube, finally getting to them to get to the conclusion that yes, it's spoken.coms that will be, you know, something that is, I guess, listened for by the bots or will be, you know, that will fall under these regulated goods or harmful and dangerous acts sort of thing. They were kind of drilling in my head that that my videos fall under the harmful and dangerous acts. And I know that because I've been having to mark my videos for the last few years as harmful and dangerous content. And so I, this is an argument that I didn't really want to try to get into with YouTube right now. And I just, I said a simple thing where I said, and if we want to really get into it, vaping is neither harmful or dangerous. And I gave them a bunch of links that I thought that maybe if they read, they could start thinking about, are these really harmful? Are we sort of putting them in the correct bucket on YouTube? I doubt that they read any of them, but I, you know, I, I couldn't not try, right? You have to try. Anyway, hang on a second. I feel like I've been talking at you for like 20 minutes straight. Let me pause for a second and just pause and think. But I honestly think that's it. I think I've rambled more than enough, but I just wanted to say we're here on YouTube. 
Thank you for bearing with me during all of this. Thank you for all the support during all of this. Thank you for all of the emails. Thank you for all of the new follows on other social media. And thank you to so many people who jumped over to Twitch and we've been having, honestly, a really fun time streaming three days a week now on Twitch. And honestly, streaming, if you want to get into a little bit of a nitty gritty before I leave, streaming has never been really beneficial to this YouTube channel. This YouTube channel has always, and I think will always benefit from smaller format edited content. And that's what I plan to do here, as I already said, along with replays. Hi, it's a Grim Green video, so of course I'm gonna be repeating myself. I did get very self-reflective over these last two months, going through and watching so many old videos. I just binged watched videos from like, not just the really old stuff like 2010, 2011, 2012, but like watching through so many 2015, 2016, 2017 era stuff. It's just, it's really bizarre watching all of my own content again, because I remember all of it. And I remember shooting these reviews and I remember whether or not I felt good or bad after I shot those reviews or whether or not I, th I think they felt genuine or not. And in my older videos, I'm so much more mellow and I, and I used to do zero jump cuts. And then for some reason, in two, it was like in 2017, I started getting really into jump cuts. And I think that kind of affected my videos. Anyway, I just want to say I I'm really grateful and relieved right now that this particular video is seeing the light of day after getting my third strike on, on, on YouTube. I'm thankful to YouTube for like the very open communication that we had back and forth. And they wanted to make sure that I knew everything specifically. When I asked for specifics, they provided me specifics. And I'm very, very thankful to that. Um, I hope that they apply these rules fairly and evenly moving forward so that there's, you know, there's a place for tobacco harm reduction uh, on YouTube because that's that's what I'm here to do. My only goal on YouTube, it, it's always been this, it started this way and I feel this way right now is to convert as many people who smoke deadly, lethal, combustible cigarettes over to the much, far, scientifically proven, less harmful alternative to those death sticks. That's what I'm here to do. So. Thank you for allowing me to do that. And that's where we go from here. So uh, onward and forward into the world uh, and fight the FDA and all those good things. And so I don't know how to end a video that's not a review. I guess just uh, stay smoke free every day. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so.